Hello all, gonna do another cutting test. This time, gonna try between a, a Finnish Tarava Skrama, which is uh, 240 in mil in length and uh, 3.8 mil thick. It's a sax, a modern sax. It has, uh, you know, an excellent handle. Okay, grasp it here gives you more room for power for chopping. If you have to do some carving or whittling, you hold it here. And this edge here is uh, from the factory. It's sharpened uh, at, a, at a shallower angle for whittling, okay? Then we have a classic uh, cookery called the Chitlange. It um, is made by the great Gurkha cookery. It's seven mil thick. It's 10 inches long with a distal taper. Okay. And it's beautiful. You know, it has a rosewood handle. It's a full, a full tang. And it has a hand guard and some, you know, it's a beautiful knife. It comes with a, a beautiful sheath, which is obviously handmade. It's timber and it has a uh, water buffalo um, leather skin with two additional pieces. This is Yukata. It's very, uh, it's a beautiful little utility knife. And here is your check mat. And once again, it is used for honing, honing the blade like a steel. Okay. Travis Grama sheath is, uh, is level, it had leather, and it has a plastic liner. So those do a, a great job. Now we'll start the, the cutting. Um, this is seat belt tape. And these are brand new out of the box. They haven't been used. They're clean, they're tidy. And uh, they cut very well. This one cuts very well. It's very sharp. See what um, the chitlange does. Yeah, they're both cutting that well. Um, now, it's a ferro rod. The edge is, the edge is fairly sharp. So that one works. Now, this one. So they both work. See how she cuts some sisal. This is 10 mil sisal in the ch in the chop. That one chops well. Now the chitlange. Yeah, they chop well. Um, let's use the let's use the tarava. Scrama, and we'll see how she feathers sticks. Okay, so that does quite a good job, and uh, yeah, it cuts very well. I'll try the, the new one and try the you now. Yeah, it's it's a it's an excellent utility knife, and I'm not not sure how it'll cut feathers, but it is. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, well, it's doing a beautiful job. Um, they're both cutting very well. Um, Let's do some splitting. 
This is Australian eucalyptus hardwood. So it is very hard um, and it is seasoned dead wood. So there's no, there's no rolls, there's no notching. It split that quite well. Um, get one, get one for the other scrama. See how this thing splits. a lot faster yeah but look i i went with the the Green. see these cracks here now if you use that when you split that will help it split easier cheater you're making it look like it's better <laughs> well they they split very well this one you know is a 3.9 mil thick and that one's seven so you know it's a it's a lot but after that let's see if they still cut Yep, that one does. <sighs> yeah, they're both cutting very well. Let's go over here and do some draw cutting um, on this piece of pine. Now, the cookery, personally, I, I love the shape of it. And holding it like this, I, I love draw cutting with it. Now, that's to help start a fire, kindling. Um, yeah, let's see how, let's see how this girl does. Yeah, they're both doing, um, yeah, they're both doing an excellent job. Now, I'll just, um, the Tarava is, I, I'm looking, I'm cheating, 80 CRV2, finished steel, uh, carbon steel, very good. I believe this one is 5160. Now, yeah, let's move on, do some uh, cutting. Oh, oh, no. A bottle. Fucking splash, so. <laughs> That one cut well. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go down the stairs. All right. So Felipe. Crazy chicken chase. Crazy chicken chase. <laughs> get in this. Please get in the same position over there because I'm going to make a double cut. No. Got it. And we'll try the Tarava Scrama. <laughs> well. <laughs> you look amazed. <laughs> no, they're killing, they're cutting. All right. Oh no. Some raspberry. We've got to, you know, got to clean the blood off. Fucking exploded. <laughs> All right. Now we've got a classic coconut cut. Now I want to bloody miss that one. Oh.
Okay, there, after that cut, there is, uh, there's uh, some rolling because of the coconut. So anyway, it's right there, if you can see that. See the, so that'll need some, some work. And it may just be the temper, tempering um, of, of, this, of this steel. It is a very fine convex edge. It is very sharp and it cuts well. But that coconut just put a... So we'll need to, to get the um, Chak Mac and later... Behind you. Chicken fist. Anyway, let's see how... Big Bertha goes. Tarava Skrama. No. Well, the edge is fine. There's no chipping. There's no rolling. Well, it it's, is a pretty thick blade, isn't it? It's all very good. Yeah. Like, it's still cutting. It's just those little rolls in it. Yeah. Anyway, now this will be a good test. That coconut's brown. Exactly. I've got a block of ice. This will be a good test for you, girl. The Chitland. Oh, that wasn't good. Nothing more. Anyway, let's get the, the other block of ice out of there and try to rather oh no she's all right the edge is good the tempering is wonderful this thing's uh performing beautifully now it's tomato time it is tomato time Here we go on the Tarava Skrama. Well, well, she's cutting beautifully. You want a piece? No, I'm good. Okay. It's touched many things. Chitlinge. Okay. She's still cutting beautifully, even even through that area with the the the, the notches. I mean, it's still cutting. It's still cutting really well. Let's see what we can do. We've got some big rock melons. Let's do this one. I'll wipe that down. With the Tarava. Watch yourself. Well, that cuts beautifully. It's cutting beautifully. Now we'll try one with the Chitlange. This is named after a, a beautiful village in Nepal called Chitlange. <laughs> Chitlan or something. But anyway, it was um, designed and, and it's used for hunting. So let's see how it does with the rock melon. So it's cutting beautifully. All right, now we've got some bottles to cut. Move that. All right, come on, girl. All five of them and uh, two still standing so she's still cutting very well 
and it's still shaving sharp in most of the blade except where the coconut um, just just rolls so we'll get that out later now I'll put some more I only have four for this, but these two are two liters and they're quite wide. So I'm gonna get wet, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm getting ready. <laughs> oh, I didn't get wet. <laughs> <laughs> Another one to make it to make it five watches it don't stand there I'm moving please. I'm not going to stand there thank you all right now they're nice and clean there's one more cut over here and uh, I think I'll try the Tarada Now they're both cut beautifully. Okay, this one sustained some mild edge damage, which is, you know, it, it <laughs> the Tarava is cutting beautifully. There's no edge, edge damage. The tempering is great. The steel uh, working very well. But anyway, I had a lot of fun. So did you, Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have a nice day.